Today, I'm working on the rainbow vacuum. We actually have two. Let me get to focus in on here. Okay, so I already have this kind of started because this is a pain in the butt. There's two tabs like this on either side that you have to push in, and then this part will come out. What I'm doing here is replacing a power cord, which I've already taken the old one off previously. But we have the new one here. I want to get out of the way so I can show you these plugins here. Okay, so we have a new one here. Here is the old one. Um, the problem is, is this one, let me make sure I'm on frame. I'll move in a little bit here. Okay, so this guy has, looks like maybe a ground wire that comes off and it goes down into the vacuum here and the new power cord does not have that. So what I'm going to try to do, hopefully, is poke this pin out for this one here, and then maybe I can push it in the other one. So I'm going to try to do that. I'll be right back. All right, it was a little easier than I thought. I just grabbed it with pliers and pulled it out. So now I'm going to see if I can shove it into the new core, or new plug here. And this will just really make my life a lot easier. So I'm just shoving it in here. Is it just... Come pulled out. Looks like I might get lucky here. Take my little screwdriver and shove on it a little more. Okay, did not go in. This is the right way course I can't really see what's holding it in oh, it might be this pin that's bent out right here so if I pull it this way it was probably bent back this way all right I'm gonna do this off camera this is gonna take me just a second All right, so I got it in there. Just had to reshape the, the little connector to get it to fit back in there. Now it's in there nice and snug. So this piece is wired to the vacuum as it should be. This piece goes into the top, and then this, this piece plugs in. Excuse me. Plugs in right here. Make sure I'm on frame. Let me see if we can see this. Okay, so that piece goes to the top of the vacuum. This guy goes here, and this little uh, part here, there we go, that goes in the bottom. Can't see what I'm doing, hand film. Oh, I better fit in there. There we go. Okay, so that part's in there good. This plugs into here. Spin this around. So that should be good as far as that. Now I need to make sure. Stupid keyboards in my way. I don't even use it. Okay, so get this out of the way here. I need this to go here. All right, that's on there good. I can tuck this wiring back in here. It all goes down into there. I think it's just a ground. Okay, so we got this is for our top. The rest of this can kind of just hide in the top. So let me grab the top and we'll see if we can get that plugged in. Okay, 
and this rainbow has, uh, I think it's a fan and suction, so you can, it has two ways, so that's why it has this. And here's where it plugs in here. Now there's a, a spot to tell which way to plug it in, and it's right here. There's a little wall in this, and a little divide in this, so there's only one way you can plug this in properly. I'm going to make sure I do that. Okay, now we're plugged into the button. I'm just going to get this sucker back on here. Hide our wiring. Okay, now we're going to snap it down on these two points and make sure you can see it. Okay, so here's these two little tabs. Okay, got it locked down on all four. No. I heard one. There we go. There's two. Make sure we got it on this side. Okay, they're good on this side. So now what I'm going to do is get the bottom part of this vacuum because it will not come on until we get that. And we'll plug it in and make sure everything works. And then I'll grab the second vacuum and we'll do the work on it. Be right back. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the bottom container. It holds water. There's it, it, there's a, a little caddy that it rides on with casters, but I, I didn't want to waste my time with that because I don't need to roll it around. I just want to see if it works. So oh, I might need that super thing. Okay. Oh, I can get it like that. Okay, perfect. There we go. Now we're on there. So let's get a sucker plugged in. All right, moment of truth. Let me see what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, fan works. Vacuum works. So that, that part of it is done. And let's see what I do. Okay, so this is... The power cord that was on it, this one came off of another vacuum that we just ordered that uh, got all the parts in for it. Um, pretty much all I need to do to it is hook this up to it because we already put a new filter in it and stuff like that. So I'm going to pull this one pull this one out, go ahead and take it to the back. I'm going to bring the other back, uh, vacuum back here into my office and we'll put the power cord on that one see if it, we can get it working. We haven't had both working at all yet, so we'll see. Lost my numbers. We gotta get this one put back together here before I can start doing that stuff. This we need to put this on the uh, the other side of that once we get it screwed yeah, I in. Know. There's number one, number two, number three. We weren't here when this thing Stop was taken apart, so we don't know exactly how it goes together. A little trial and error, see what we can do. All right, I got it back in the shop now, or back in the uh, office. So this is going to go here. There's a spot here where the, uh, let's see, right here where the wiring was. Not necessarily where it's meant to go, but where it used to be. So we're going to kind of get that into place there. This I'm going to have to wire to my power cord. So I'm going to strip a little bit of this off. I don't give myself very much to work with, but it's enough. Okay. And here is the power cord. So we have like I did on the other one. This okay, doesn't I? Where do I plug this in then? Oh, okay, I see. There is a spot. Let's see down in here, right there. That's where the ground was plugged in for that part. A little different than the other vacuum. So we're gonna take this guy, plug it in down here. Make sure they don't pop that off first. Be a little easier to get to. Okay, so we're grounded now. Let me go ahead and get some heat shrink out. I'm not gonna worry about soldering that wire together. It's going to be buried inside this thing so I'm not worried about it being under stress. We're also going to 
change the filter on this one. Well, I threw the old one away, but I'll show you how to put the new one in. Okay, and we on camera here. So, stick this heat shrink over there. Now, originally I had, I had taken this power cord off of this one to get the other one to run because this one had so many issues. But now we got parts in. We're going to get this one fixed and the girls are going to be aggravated because they're going to have two of these to vacuum with now and they do not like using them. It's a lot more to it than using a regular vacuum. heat on that. Okay. So this plug, let's see where is the spot? I'm first going to put this on here. Get that plugged in. So the other one had like a little notch. Let me check the top and see. Okay, so this goes on like this. Okay, there's a notch there. So I think I just screwed myself by putting this in here because now I have to take it off. <laughs> I got to poke it through the hole. It's definitely not like the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this. I'll be right back. All right, let's do a do-over on that. Luckily, I didn't solder that in there, so it wasn't a big deal. So... Let's see, here is where I need to stick it through. So, go ahead and feed this in here. And I remember this was kind of a pain. And it looks like you put it in, push it in there, and then if you, I think you could, no, maybe you don't have to turn. Okay, so let's, let's move this back a little. So we can put this where we can see it. Okay, and then it had this little piece here to put on the back to kind of hold it in. So we'll get that done. Okay. She's in there. Now, I need to go ahead. This is going to be a lot more of a pain in the butt to get that wire on there again, but... Such is life. Like I said, luckily I didn't solder this last time. I'm not going to do it this time either. I don't even know if anybody's even going to watch this video. <laughs> Being an arcade channel and I'm fixing vacuums. And really, I needed it just to, so I can see what I did. Next time I have to come back to this, it, it could be... A year from now and I just won't remember what the heck I did so it's always good when you start fixing stuff outside of your wheelhouse to just go ahead and throw a video on it especially I would have liked to have filmed what they were doing back there taking it apart because uh, when we went to put it back together the owner took it apart and he wasn't here so we just kind of had to figure it out all right so that's that I'm going to put this guy back into the vacuum in the ground. Okay, it's on there. That's on there. Now, you got to just plug in this little plug in into the button. And the same as I told you on the other one, it's got a, a little spot on, so there's only one way you can plug this in. Okay. And this one, I, I thought it snapped, but it, it's also got four screws in it. So there's two here and a two on the other side. I have those here. And here's my screwdriver. A little dark, but...
not want to go in there easily, that's for sure. I thought it was going to be a little easier than that. That's why I couldn't hand tighten it to start it. Yeah, like I was saying, this is definitely off topic, but anytime I fix anything around the arcade, I always do a video on it and throw it up. We fixed the popcorn machine a couple times. Fixed. Uh, what else did we do? Um, I worked on these several times. I don't know if I've ever done a video on it, though. Um, what did I do other than the... Oh, we had the nacho cheese dispenser. Fixed a couple buttons on that. That was similar to an arcade repair. Just doing buttons. Okay, one more. The girls just keep breaking these things over and over and over again. And it's because they don't like to use them. And they're kind of expensive. So I ruin their day because as soon as I come in, I fix it. And it's usually something silly. But they really did a number on the, uh, on the power cord. Just had it ripped out. Okay, so... Back here is going to be the filter. Oh, oh, oh. Kind of hard to work on something that's rolling. So this is going to come on. This is going to go in this way. And you know there's a little tab and it, and it fits right in here. Make sure. I'm, of course I'm not even on camera. So this little tab is going to go in here. And that goes down. This thing did just pop on there. Hopefully we'll go the same route. Let me make sure I got a, nothing in the way here. I don't really see. Okay, there's a couple tabs. Okay, these two tabs. Okay, so it's going to go in first up here. And then these two tabs come down. Lock in, okay. So there's a new filter. Now the last thing we gotta do is on this guy here. I need to put this on it. And then this nut. Now hopefully we can get this nut on there because the old nut was severely damaged. Okay, it's going on there pretty good. I don't want to tighten this on there too tight because we had such a problem getting it off. But I want to make sure it's snug. Okay. So there's that. And we got the power cord in. Now I am going to get the water caddy, whatever it is that goes on the bottom. Then we'll plug it in and see if it works. The only other part other than that left to do is these little things go on the side. I'm put this over it. Just Makes it look pretty, I guess makes it look like it's got something going on or anything, <laughs> but there ain't nothing there. All right, let me grab that water. Be right back. All right, so we got the water. Let's get this sucker on here. Okay. These guys just clamp onto that on each side. Okay. Now let's get some power on it. Moment of truth. She just has on. All right. Got it. All right. Well, that'll wrap that one up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put those stupid little things back on. And oh, the other thing I was trying to think of earlier is I've fixed several TVs, flat screen TVs, and uh, CRT TVs up here. So uh, that'll get that done. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'm sure Mike's going to chime in here at the end. And act like he was in this video but uh like i said if if uh you had any problems with these stay tuned because i will post videos because this thing goes down quite a bit because the girls are really really hard on it so i will uh i will keep up to date with it and then if you have any questions just go ahead and leave them in the comments and i'll try to answer them as soon as i have time thanks for watching like and subscribe what did you think about that video did you like that video i loved it was i not in it well did i love that I better been in that video. I hope you liked the video. It was definitely my best work. If I'm not in that video, you better watch this one over here. Oh, if you're not gonna do that, just subscribe, you'll get a notification. Bye.